Friendship ended with Joplin. VimWiki's my best friend. So, if you've been following the channel, I switched to Joplin from VimWiki a while ago and was putting all my notes and everything in there. I liked the cloud storage syncing. I could look at my notes on my phone. It has markdown support. It has very nice syntax highlighting for code chunks, which is a lot of what I do in my note taking, at least for what I would take notes in, in here on. And it had some other features to do items, notebooks, sub notebooks, yada, yada, yada. So it was. It was okay. It did a lot of what I wanted to, but ultimately, I, even with the command line version of Joplin, which you can see here on my top right screen, like this was cool too. It just wasn't wasn't working for me. I I really did miss the functionality of um, the of VimWiki being able to have endless like uh, linking of files in a wiki type format like kind of how you go to wikipedia and you click on a link and it takes you to that page you click on a sub link it takes you to that page and every single page could have links to every other any other type of resource and it's all based on markdown files so if you have the same word on another page and you just make it into one of the vimwiki hyperlinks by hitting enter on it like that then it will link to that page it also makes making new VimWiki pages easier. So actually taking all my Joplin notes and shoving them back into VimWiki was relatively easy using like ls into a, a file or moving the file extensions and then copy and pasting those into VimWiki and then um, moving all those files back into my VimWiki directory and then just enter, enter, there's the new file again. It was actually really easy to transition back, but I really did miss the functionality of VimWiki where I could go in and just, there's all my pages, I could just go there, and then there's my stuff there, but then also the tab, shift tab, and then I could enter, and it'd take me to these new pages and, and all that stuff. I, I just missed VimWiki, so I returned. And it's in Vim, so if there's any other extensibility I wanna do, I can do it in Vim, um, yeah. VimWiki, I think I'm gonna stick with uh, probably, for the foreseeable future. I've been taking some notes on uh, LaTeX. Um, it's angry because I actually have it open already. Um, but I've been taking some notes on LaTeX and writing some LaTeX code, if you even call it code, it's markup, so. Um, God, it's so angry. Yeah. So I've been making notes on LaTeX and then I've also been taking notes on um, statistics. So I'll be taking a lot of new notes on statistics, statistical modeling, and all that stuff as I delve deeper into um, data science and analytics. So I have like lists of you know, keywords and things that I wanted to find, and my template will just be like, you know, explaining to myself what it is, inputting documentation, videos, articles, resources that helped me understand it best. So if I need to review anything, I can return. And then any sort of like example code in R that um, would help me. So like if I was gonna do something um, for like, let's just say the mean function, I could just do in R just mean, and then uh, the mean of X, if X is like a data frame. I could go out, come back in, and then it actually would have syntax highlighting with R code in there. So, I mean, it's got syntax highlighting. I mean, it's, it's even in my favorite color theme, Grovebox, because it uses the terminal colors. Um, so ultimately, I think uh, VimWiki is going to be what I stick with. And then I've actually been delving more into Vim in general, messing with some of the global options, auto compilation of LaTeX, more plugins. I reformatted my entire VimRC. It's much more commented and ordered. I got my folds to stick. I'll be going over comprehensively my VimRC in the uh, in a soon to come up video where I talk about everything in detail. But I've been going a little bit heavy on Vim, and I, I just couldn't be happier. I had my first first moment where your level of skill and um, the benefit of Vim is kind of like a, a bell curve, or kind of like it just, I don't know if it's like an exponential line. But it starts off with how you, know, you, you can barely function, and it's more effort to use Vim than it is to just use something else because it's just so otherworldly compared to what you've been used to with what, with the, what you see is what you get editors. And then you start getting good at it. You start, you know, okay, you're about exactly where you were. You can do everything the way you were doing it in the other editors. 
then you start getting to where, oh, I am much more efficient in Vim than I am in other editors, and I can't, I just don't want to use anything else. Then the final level after that is using other editors is horrible because you keep trying to use all your Vim keys and it keeps blowing up the, the, the program. I had that, that first experience. I was trying to edit a spreadsheet on uh, Google Docs, like a Google Sheet of just some the books I've been reading or the books I finished reading this year so far. And I started trying to do HJKL in the spreadsheet cells because I was used to using SCIM. And uh, oops, I'm writing over my formulas and everything because I'm trying to navigate in uh, normal mode, which is not a thing <laughs> in uh, Google Sheets. So I'm, I'm finally getting you know there. Um, I've been thinking about also trying to like delve a little bit more into Vim script, just because I like to know the guts of everything that I mess with. So I'm th thinking about looking into that as well. I've mostly been spending a lot of my time studying LaTeX R and stats. And as well, I mean, that's just like in my personal time at work, I've been mostly delving into a horrible proprietary version of SQL based on the medical software we use. And uh, it is horrible. Wouldn't recommend. It's based a lot of like, it's got like SQL and then proprietary junk, a little bit of like HL7 syntax, and then some C++. And it's just, bleh. it's horrible. But in the end, I will learn all the languages, all the things. So I will be sending out, um, not sending out, but I'll be ma making some more videos in the near future. This uh, home quarantine due to COVID has been very useful for my productivity when it comes to video creation. And now that I work from home, I get to use my dual screens at home and chill. I'm much more productive. So stay tuned for more videos in the future.